Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I get tricked into wild camping. Cue the intro. So what's happened is, is that I got a text message from the sidekick basically saying, all right, mate, it's been a long time. I've been away quite a bit recently. Do you fancy a lad's night out and a lad's night away? And I was there going, do you know what? It's been years since I've done like a lad's night out and a lad's night away. That sounds really cool. So right back going, yes, mate, what have you got in mind? And he goes, well, pack your tent. I'll cover the cost of the campsite and I'll cover the cost of the food and I'll treat you to a proper lad's night out. I was like... Wow, I, I'm really shocked that it's like he's offering to pay for it all and being so generous. But you know, a lot of hard work goes into this channel, so I was like, Yeah, all right, then cool. So I messaged back going, Do you know what, mate? That'd be brilliant. Where and when? He goes, Meet me at Friday in the secret location. So off we head to the BP petrol station and let's see what happens. Well, I'm off to meet the sidekick, and I'm going to be completely honest, I'm a little bit nervous because. He's suddenly offering to take me out for the night and pay for a campsite and I think he just wants a little bit of bromance time but I wasn't expecting that so you know this is nice I'm, I'm looking forward to this I just wonder where we're staying it feels all a little bit short notice but you know a night out with, you know I say a night out with the lads a night out with the lad and uh, it should be a giggle I reckon it'll be alright he's literally said pack the tent pack the sleeping bag and um that's all I'm going to need, so he seems like in a right good mood as well, so happy days, happy, happy days. Right, so I've turned up to the set meeting point, the place where the sidekick has told, has told me to meet, and he was here on arrival, that, you know, that, that's good, and I went and put some fuel in, so I'm all set, but it's not often you get invited for a, a lad's night out, but I'll be honest, this isn't really, for a lad's night out, I normally go to the pub and get pissed. Yeah, we've got beer. Well, we've got everything you're going to need in there and under the seat. We're going to have a good time. Look, look, at, this, look at this strapped on here. How dodgy does this look? Yeah, but where are we going? Going camping, Alan. What, you've booked us somewhere nice? Five star exclusive place that we're going to stop. Yeah? Yeah. And you're paying? Yeah. Everything we need. So just so I'm right, you're 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 gonna get dinner. Yeah. You're gonna do the beer yeah. and you're paying for the campsite. Yeah. So well, then, Alan, don't worry about it, Alan. How much did you win? <laughs> On the scratch card, 50p. <laughs> right. Well, I can't moan at that, and to be honest, I could do with a trip because, like, you know, being stuck in the house and getting bored. So, yeah. Well, well, let's go to this. I've, I've never heard of a five-star one before, but anyway, let's. Yeah. All right. Come on then, let's go. Well, this isn't a nice sur like, sur like surprise. I've got, a, you know, obviously I'm going to ask a few questions. Is it like you were just missing me? I know you've gone pretty much away constantly. Um, so were you just missing me a lot and, and fancied, a, fancied a little bit of a chill out night? Well, I felt sorry for you. Obviously your monkey cycle van's broken down. Uh, and you've not been getting out much. You've been, I've driven past your house and seen you sat at the window looking out the window like a little puppy. So I thought well, I thought you probably need a night out. That's just, that's that, to be honest. Obviously, having many children that I have and being sat at home other than escaping a lot to make little videos. But you know, it, I must admit it's a nice a nice surprise. And to be honest, I haven't gone out on what is a lad's night out in probably a couple of years, um, if not longer, maybe even four years. So, you know, this is really nice, actually. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised you managed to book a site so sort of like, so quick, but at the same time, I suppose, you know, on one of those apps, you, you can crack on, but I'm just glad yeah. you found something. I mean, how, how far are we actually going? Uh, not too far. It's not not that far now. Don't worry. I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. So I've had a word and I've kind of got uh, got it sorted out. Got us booked in somewhere. So oh, that's good. Well, that's, yeah. that's even better. Definitely even better. 
Yeah, yeah, I think you're going to enjoy it. It's nice. Just a shame the weather's not as good as it has been, but we're still going to enjoy it. Well, that was the other thing I was going to say. Do you realise that the weather app pretty much says tropical storms? Yeah, it will be all right. Yeah? You've got your tent, haven't you? Yeah, I've got my tent, but I've also got my credit card for the five-star hotel if it all goes wrong. Yeah, I don't think you're going to find a hotel anywhere nearby. Well, if it's got a five-star campsite, I'm guessing it'll be quite at market. Yeah, well, it's, it's, you know, it's more exclusive than Five Star. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Like, yeah. like VIP? Well, it's just like kind of exclusive. What, like, that's what I mean, like VIP, like posh people go, hang on, it's not, it's not one of those like, it's not one of those like VIP ones where it's like we're going to go and we're going to like, like go in our boxes and people are going to massage us with oil and stuff and you're going to lie next to me staring because that would just be weird. Uh, definitely not that sort of place, Alan. Not like a spa retreat. <laughs> no, you're not getting your nails painted or anything like that. No. Uh, that's all right then. No. Actually, you've got. I probably you've quite got like. Your... Probably quite like getting my, na my nails done and a massage, yeah. but not like by a big butch man. Well, yeah, I think you probably would, wouldn't you? Deep down. Well, it'd be relaxing, wouldn't it? Well, that's good. I'm quite happy with that. But you've got your tent, haven't you? Yeah, I, literally, I followed your instructions to the letter. I've got my little tent. I've got my, uh, I've got my little mattress, and I've got my sleeping bag all in the back of here. Um, you know, and I've obviously packed um, a special lethal weapon of uh, keeping the ladies away. My special brute, um, and that's pretty. That's that, that, That's pretty. That's that's it, really. I didn't. You know, I've not really brought anything else of any kind of excitement. I brought my cameras. Good. Well, you're not going to need a lot else. That's good. Well, it sounds yeah. like you've got a cupboard. I just think it's just like you've got that massive box on the back that's just a little bit, a little bit odd. Well, why is that odd? It's got everything in here that we're going to need. Yeah, but I said I've got a spare back box you could have had for that. Yeah, we wouldn't get it in your back box. I've got like the blue this box is full and all under my seat is full. We've got, we've got a lot of kit. Well, if we're going VIP, mate, I'm pretty sure they'll have stuff there. Well, you've got to bring your own stuff. It's not. Well, you said you're treating me. I'm expecting like to be treated, really. I'm like, you know, if, if you take out a hot lady, you don't don't get there, do you? And go, here, I love. Here's a McDonald's burger. And by the way, you're paying the bill. Wink, wink. Well, you know, it's, if it's I was taking if I was taking out a hot lady, Alan, I definitely wouldn't be taking her here. What VIP exclusive campsite? For the night, I think a lot. Well, some women probably would, you know, quite enjoy the outgo outdoorsy, go out and have fun. Yeah, maybe. It's nice to be out though, even if it's a little bit rainy. It's quite pleasant. Yeah, the views are going to be nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's nice down here, isn't it? You know, not many people about. I'm glad you put a lot of thought in into it. I know it's quite posh round around here as well, so you know, look at that nice sight in the distance. Bit of an hill. Yeah, well, we're heading that way actually. Are we? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. We're going to be doing a. We're even going to be doing a little bit of uh, off-roading soon as well. What, as in to get to the place, or as in yeah. like it's? Oh, so it's. Hey. Oh, so we're going to do a bit of off-roading to get well, to the place. Well, as in, I take it you've just picked a little bit of like. Thing is, you've got to remember though, if we're going like posh. We can't get mucky mucky because they won't let us in. Did you um? Did you see my boots? No. What's wrong with your boots? I've put my uh, I've put my special boots on, so we don't need to worry about mucky boots. So mucky boots are a necessity. What we're going to like a farmer's like style bloody VIP place where you kind of have to like like go walk around cows and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. It's a bit a little bit like that. You'll see in a minute, Alan. Oh. <laughs> oh, another one. Well, I feel quite chilled and relaxed now. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's quite good, really. Doggers are up here, by the looks of it. Yeah, more doggers. Look, what? It's buy one, get one free. Ah, oh, I've just put my visor up. Now, I'm, wait, rain's in my eyes. Just blink, mate. Blink, blink, <laughs> blink, 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 blink. Oh, hello. Something dodgy going on there. 
he's got a cap on and everything. He's well into it. He's, he's lied back in his chair with with the other dog and net right next to him. It had a weird smell coming out of both cars there. Yeah, there was a bit of a funny smell in there, there wasn't there? Yeah, man, I'm feeling a little bit relaxed. It's a bit like when we went through Gladstonebury. Just the yeah, same sort of smell. Yeah. yeah. It's weird, that. Yeah, it is weird, yeah, definitely. Do you know what? I'm really hungry. I kind of, because you said you're tree eating us, I've kind of not really yet today because I was there going, well, I'll get the most out of it because I know yeah, well, more, like normally you'd like moths come out of your wallet. Well, I am, uh, yeah, I'm hungry too. I've got some special food for us. So, well, I, I, we're not going to a restaurant. We're taking the restaurant with us, Alan. Yeah, but I've packed, right. like, I've, pa- I've, packed, I've packed shoes, mate, in case we go to the club and that. If you can't get in in trainers. Have you brought your slippers? No, why do I need slippers? Yeah. Don't know. Right, we're going this way. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So it's looking good down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's nice nice way to go. Yeah. Not many people down here, is there? No, nice little bit of green lane in is always get us ready for our food. Like, it'd be nice to rack somewhere pretty, wouldn't it? And like be a bit pampered and chilled out a bit. Well, it's very exclusive down here, Alan. Well, it is down here because it's a green bloody lane, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exclusive. I'm just looking forward, though, to, like... I mean, I'm not in a rush. We've got, you know, we've got a probably good hour or so of light yet, so our happy days there. And then when we get to the campsite, like, I'm quite, you know, desperate for a number two, so... Right, OK. Shift that out, and then we'll, um, we'll have a bit of dinner, mate field there mate yeah what do you reckon well, it's a nice fit would you well it's not um oh we could send the drone up here i suppose well if you want to get some kind of drone shots or a nice shot for the thumbnail well nice little spot isn't it well it's a nice bit of edge yeah <laughs> tell me you've got like all like green space and want to like hook head, like head, hedges and trees and stuff you know what I mean? And it's a oh. corn, it's a cornfield, mate. It's pretty. It's not like it's full of flowers and. Have a look at the view. Yeah, I, hang on, I'll have a look. Yeah, you know, that's a nice view. That's, yeah, that is nice, mate. Definitely. It's nice and exclusive round here. There's nobody about. Well, it's well, it's a, it's a bit of lane, mate, and a view. So it's nice. Well, we could. Um, what do you reckon to here then? For what? To stop. What do you mean for st- what to stop for what for what a beer? Have you bought beer? So I don't mind having a beer, mate. Brought beer. We've brought the food. We can sit here, have a beer, have some food, and then we'll stop the night here. What do you mean stop the night here? We were going to a campsite. This is the campsite. This ain't a campsite. This is this is a bit of bit. Of, this is a bit of edge they've cut out to let the bloody hunt horses go. Yeah, but there's it- not going to be any hunt horses down here, is there? Not tonight. It's a nice flat area. We could set tents up there. Well, what about the place you booked? This is it. So you haven't booked anywhere, you're just taking the piss? I have. I've had a word with mate Dave down the pub. He knows the bloke whose uncle's auntie's cousin owns this bit of land. Well, it might have been his brother, but anyway. And they sent him a text message, and they said it's all right for us to stop here. Have you been drinking? Not yet, but hopefully soon. Okay, I'm not going to swear. I'm not going to swear. I'm not going to... Oh, oh, hello, what's that? That was uh, my horn. But <laughs> well, you know what? I'll have a beer and I'll see if I can get us a hotel. How about, how about that? Look at it. I mean, look at the view. Why would you want to go anywhere else? Because it's a bloody next to a road, mate. It's not a road, is it? Nobody's going to be down here. Well, it's raining, mate. And It's drizzle, it's not rain. So... There is no real posh campsite we're going on. This, why would you need anything any posher than this? Look at it. Yeah, but look at the views. This is where's the where's the like the toilets, the shower. You can go for a wee around the corner there. Well, I, yeah, I can. But what if, what what if I need a poo? Hang on. See, if you need to go for number is that two. Got, poo on it no, it's a bit of mud from when i've used it when i've been out in the wilds see you can go around the corner well go that way a fair bit because i know what noises you make i don't want to hear it dig yourself a little hole 
you've got a bit of toilet tissue, you do like I do in the army, just cut, put a hole, put your finger through one square, give it a wipe, put it up, put it in your hole, cover it over. Jesus Christ. The man's flipping lost it. We're literally on a lane. Well, I always say never give up, mate, so I'm not giving up, but I would have it would have been nice if you'd at least said. But are we a take it can we get an a, like a takeaway here? Oh, look, what, what's, but it, what's that for? Are you going to make a campfire? Yeah, we went away last time. I told you, I always take an axe camping. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. What about things like bears, wolves, no and also, all over the paper, have you not seen? There's supposed to be some kind of like black animal, like, what What was it? Was it a... Yeah, but imagine if you get that on camera, you get loads of money for that. What, what was it though? It was a sighting all over it. Yeah. Not, it's not a tiger, it's a black panther. Yeah, something like that, isn't it? Yeah, round here. Yeah, well, you never know, we might get it on camera. I'll have that beer, thanks. You you might be a bit shaken up now, though. Well, at least it's, um, it's pretty. <sighs> I was hoping to get, like, you know, some kind of, like, oh, massage or something going on. Not obviously with you, but, like, just some kind of comfort. If you lay on the floor, I'll stand on your back if you want. So, you're sleeping nearer the road though, yeah? No, they've got little tents, so we can put them both there, side by side. Yeah, but what happens when the dog has come? The dog going to come down here and get the cars stuck, won't they? I don't know, mate. Some of them drive four before's and that. No, you won't get, they won't come down here. It's not enough room. Alright. Well. We'll get some food on the go in a minute. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. That's, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 it I'm loving it. Well, I won't say I'm up for it because I'm not that way inclined. But, um, I mean, it's nice. I just, you know, going to give it a go. You're not going to get upset, are you? Well, I might get the hotel a little bit later, and when you're asleep, and then like we'll all be all right. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, no, I'll. I'll give it a go definitely have you brought stuff to do like, are we going to play games hide and seek or yeah, like you, you go and I'll have a few beers you can go and hide what and I'll, I'll... I'll... <laughs> and then you have a few beers <laughs> Jesus man and I'll come find you in a bit yeah look some corn there <laughs> we're going to eat corn oh, we might give it a go okay well do you know what I've never wild camp um so it's it's a helmet head first. All about first. I'm not do, I'm not doing anything else for the first time tonight, but I'll <laughs> I'll do some wild camping. Yeah, all right, okay. I'll um yeah we'll we'll we'll, we'll have some food and we'll go from there.